The Expenses section of the initial data entry process is home to a number of important inputs. This area is where you'll input pre-retirement living expenses, medical expenses, extra debt payments, and AUM fees. This is also where you'll choose the household's tax filing status and specify any local taxes. When creating a new client plan, you'll find two data entry cards pre-populated here. The pre-retirement living expenses card and the taxes and fees card. Let's start with the pre-retirement living expenses. For clients that have yet to retire, the pre-retirement living expenses card can be utilized to capture the household's monthly expenses within the projections. Click on the card to open a data entry drawer on the right side of your screen, where you can enter more information. There are two options when it comes to inputting living expenses, the quick and easy simple approach and a more granular detailed worksheet. The simple approach will ask you for a single amount, representing the sum total of the client's average monthly spending. The detailed worksheet allows you to break out expenses into more specific expense categories, the sum of which will make up the total monthly living expenses. Pre-retirement living expenses will inflate each year within the projections based on your general inflation rate. When entering living expenses, please be mindful that this number should not include taxes or other expenses that you've already captured in the net worth section. This includes mortgage and other loan payments, insurance premiums, and property taxes and maintenance fees. Next, let's take a look at the taxes and fees card. This card is used to specify several crucial variables, starting with the household's tax filing status. Within joint plans like this one, options include married filing jointly, married filing separately, and non-married filing single. Within individual client plans, options will include single and head of household. As a reminder, Right Capital automatically calculates federal, state, and FICA taxes, and the option you select here will have a direct impact on the tax calculations within the projections. Depending on where your clients are located, you can also specify any local, municipal, or city taxes within this card. Local taxes can be entered either as a percentage of the household's AGI or gross income. Please be mindful not to include state taxes here, as those will be calculated automatically based on the client's residence state. The last field within this card allows you to enter average AUM fees to ensure that their impact is being captured within the plan. This will reduce all non-annuity invested asset returns by the percentage you enter. In addition to the living expenses and taxes and fees, additional expenses can be added to the client plan by clicking the Add Expense button in the upper right and choosing from the list of available expense options. Let's quickly review each option. Medical expense cards can be used to account for pre-tax healthcare premiums, self-employed healthcare premiums, and other out-of-pocket medical expenses. This card is primarily used to capture medical expenses in pre-retirement, as there is a separate card in the goals area for retirement healthcare costs. Alimony expenses can be added to a client plan by clicking Add Expense Alimony. This card lets you specify the amount and duration of the expense, as well as the divorce date for tax purposes. If you've entered a credit card or loan into the net worth section of the data entry, you'll see an option here to input extra debt payments towards those loans. Here, you can pick which loan you'd like to make extra payments towards, and then choose whether this is a one-time or recurring payment amount. Lastly, if you ever need to add an expense that doesn't fit squarely into any of these categories, you can always add an other expense. These cards let you choose exactly how the expense will be treated tax-wise within the plan, making them incredibly useful as a catch-all. Once we've entered all of a client's expenses here, we can click Next to move on to the next step of the initial data entry process. One last thing to note. After you've completed the onboarding template for a client and unlocked the rest of their client plan, the Expenses section can be accessed going forward within the Profile Expenses tab. You can add new expenses and make changes to the information here at any point in the future.
As always, if you have any questions while entering a client's expenses, the Right Capital support team is available to help. You can use the live chat feature in the lower right corner of your screen, or you can give our team a call at 888-982-9596, option 2. For tutorials like this one focused on other steps of the data entry process, you can visit the training videos section of the Right Capital Help Center.